How do you get a band to stand? I don't know. How do you make a band stand? You take away their chairs. Okay, so I was thinking next week um, to get ready for the show, we're gonna have to pick another duet. Mm, yeah, I feel like we should go. We should do a string instrument. Again. Yeah, yeah. And you know, my favorite string instrument is actually the cello. Ooh. So maybe I mean it's gonna take extra practice for us since we're not real <laughs> string players. Ew! Wait, look. There's a reed with an ant. Did you leave this out here? No. Richmond, you should know better. I didn't do it. Oh my god! Whoa! 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 There's more than a reed. Really? It wasn't you? No, I would never. Oh my gosh. Who could have done this? Jeez Louise. Thank goodness the bell is so sturdy that it makes it easier to put in the bottom joint. Oh my gosh, I can't believe this is all over the place. You do have to be careful when you put together the two key joints because they have a bridge key that kind of bridges one side to the other right here and it easily can be broken off if you just like cram it together. So you have to do it real gentle like that. And of course this funny part is called the barrel because it looks kind of like a barrel, duh, right? And uh, you know, a lot of people think instruments are expensive because it's the materials, like the kind of wood or the kind of metal that is used to make it. But it's really not that, it's not the materials. It's the cost of the labor of the people who put it together. It takes hours and hours, weeks to um, put together and make a clarinet, for example. Each key is crafted individually and then they put it on the actual clarinet. And even the plastic clarinets with their molds and stuff, they're still kind of difficult. It's time consuming to be able to build them. So you wanna take care of your instruments. And one of the best ways to do that is to make sure that you remove your reed I have my reed here. And no, it's not the one that was the ant crawling on it. Gross. It's taking your reed off when you're done playing. So that's really important. So at least whoever left it here in the bushes did not leave the reed on. So that's good. Let's see if I can get a sound out of it. And so you always want to make sure you take your reed off first and you want to keep it safe. And then the other thing, oh my gosh, thank goodness this is out here too. The other thing is you always want to make sure you swab it out. And I like to do a quick swab just by taking off the mouthpiece. Usually I set it in its case, but they didn't leave the case out here. Uh, and then just dunking the swab through, it feels like a magic trick. The weighted side goes down and I just pull it all the way through the clarinet to take out the moisture to take good care of it because it's expensive and your mom will appreciate it. Thanks for joining us today. I'm Mrs. Stoffel and you're in for a real treat today as we talk to another one of our instrument friends. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thanks for having me. I was so excited that I've moved things in my schedule around to be here. It is such an honor for me. So what's your favorite part about being a clarinet? I love the sound. Oh, and the range. I love that I can play deep low notes and have a bright upper register. I also feel like I'm part of a team. There's so many clarinet parts. First clarinet, second clarinet, third clarinet, and then there's clarinet family members, like the bass clarinet. 
makes me feel like I'm part of a team. Viewers want to know, how do you feel about Squidward? Well, it is kind of cool to have the clarinet be so prominent in pop culture, thanks to Squidward. But I think some folks think the clarinet is supposed to sound that way. Or that it must be difficult to play well since Squidward sounds like that. I don't want to bash on Squidward because he has done a lot for the clarinet community, but he isn't very good. What is the challenging part about being a clarinet? I think I would have to say that it is the reed. If you don't have a good reed, there isn't much you can do. Plus, the reeds have to be replaced regularly because they wear out. Kind of like, you know, shoes or something. Sometimes it is frustrating, but that is why I always have spare reeds and play on different reeds so they don't wear out as quickly. Is there any way you could make your reeds last longer? Absolutely. Putting them in a special case called a reed saver will help. It helps the reed stay dry in between playing and keeps it flat so that it doesn't warp. What is the trickiest part about playing the clarinet? I think people usually think it is all the fingerings and that we have to cover holes and have lots of keys, but really it's the embouchure and having a good sound. It is easy to get a sound on the clarinet, but difficult to get a good sound. You need to bite down on the mouthpiece and keep your chin flat. What do you want people to know about you? Hmm, well, I like the reed to be wet when I'm playing, and I also like to be swabbed out every day, sometimes twice a day if there's a lot of moisture in there. Well, thank you again for being here with us today. I hope you have a terrific read. Thanks for inviting me. I hope to have a great read too. Thanks for being with us today. Join us next time when we learn more about other instruments. Oh, what am I doing? Um, I've trapped myself in the office because my mentor teacher is crazy. Yeah, she's out there right now and I'm scared to even know what she's doing. Um, I caught her the other day just talking to instruments. Just talking to instruments. They're sitting on chairs, having a full on conversation. Not really sure what it was about. Um, but she's out there, and uh, I'm kind of scared.
some Buddy once told me the world is gonna roll me. I ate the sharpest tool in the shed. She was looking kind of dumb with her finger and her thumb in the shape of an L on her forehead. Well, the tears stop coming and they don't stop coming. Fed to the rules and I hit the ground running. Doesn't make sense. Not to live for fun. Your brain gets smart, but your head gets dumb. So much to do, so much to see. So much wrong with taking the back streets. You never know if you don't go. You never shine if you don't glow. Hey, now you're an all star. Get your game on. Go play. Hey, now you're a rock star. Get the show on. Get paid. And all that glitter is gold. Only shooting stars break the. is a balloon afraid of. I don't know, Neil. What kind of music is a balloon afraid of? It's afraid of pop music. Thanks for watching. We're taking a submission, so if you want to be a part of Directors Gone Rogue, go ahead and email Mrs. Stoffel um, your submission, whether it's a video or a picture. We'd love to have you be part of the show. See you next time.
Oh, it was still recording. Wait to the beach. 